Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this estate sale. Now this estate sale has done something I've never seen before. Not only did they want you to buy the butter dish, but they also wanted you to buy the butter on the inside. It makes me question, how long has it been in there? One piece of media that I tend not to look at, but I know that there's money in, are records. Now, I'm trying to learn a little bit more about it. I know within the last 10 years, at the beginning, it was starting to fall off, but it has completely made a resurgence. People find that the sound quality is better on a record than digital, and now they look for them, and now they actually print them again with new artists. I see people go to flea markets, yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, and dig through these things to find specific records. In the comments down below, if you are a record seller, what do you look for? Let me know. I just want to learn a little bit more. On this table is one of the Great Courses DVD box set. Now if you're unfamiliar with these, there are a lot of different ones, depending on what you want to learn about. And they can come with a booklet and multiple different DVDs, so you could have a multi-part series. So make sure when you're buying it, you're getting all of the DVDs and or CDs that belong to it. Now granted, not everyone is worth it, but a lot of them are because it's still relevant and people are still using them to learn. The new ones, of course, are going to have a little bit more value, but whenever I see these, I definitely pick them up. That one that I saw before was actually missing one of the DVDs when I checked the comps on eBay. Now let's take a look at this sign. It says if something is missing a price, please bring it to checkout and we can work out a deal. With a very pleasant smiley face. Now as a patron, I'm encouraged to go ahead and bring something downstairs to make a sale, right? They're encouraging it. It's a positive thing. But I've been to estate sales before and I've done a video on this. If you've already seen it or if you're interested, it's called they accused everyone of stealing at this estate sale. I'll go ahead and link it down below. They had signs on the wall, even as you walked in, that literally, and I quote, stated, stealing hurts your soul, don't steal, where everyone was accused of stealing before they were even thinking about stealing. Now granted, they might have had problems in the past, but it was very dissuading. Go ahead and check it out and you'll see the difference between this estate sale and that one. If you ever come across these Franklin Electronic Dictionaries, be sure to look them up. Yes, even though we have smartphones in our pockets, there are some that still use these. They're very helpful. 
This one did not have batteries, so I could not test it, but it was very clean. It was well taken care of. I went on eBay, I checked the comps. Some people sold it as untested, without batteries, for a lower price. But I wanted to test my luck. So based on the sign in the other room, I brought it downstairs and they only charged me $2. I stopped by the dollar store, I picked up the batteries that it required, I popped them in, and guess what? It worked! I sold the batteries with the electronic dictionary for $35 plus shipping. For a $2 purchase, it was worth the pickup. Creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy doll. Why did I pick it up? It's looking at me! Don't sleep on television remotes or remotes in general. Yes, a lot of them are not worth it, but a lot of sellers will only sell them for a buck or two. You can actually make some decent money from remotes that are unique or out of print or just to unique items in general that are not TVs. So be sure to look them up if you come across them. Again, encouraging positive sales rather than dissuading them. In the comments down below, let me know the most wild sign you've seen at an estate sale. I'd love to know. I just wanted to point out this really cool candle. Uh, a lot of people will put them in bottles. They'll burn all the way down. They'll repeat the process until it looks like that where the wax is melted over the glass. I think it's a cool vibe because you can mix different colors. It doesn't necessarily have a decent resale value. It's just really neat to see. Can we talk about how large this remote was for this model airplane? That's wild. 